What is going on, YouTube? It is All Things Mets Media. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is where you get your latest Mets media, everything you need to know about the Mets. Guys, Carlos Correa and the New York Mets. It seems like the New York Mets, as a report from Andy Martino, the Mets are becoming very frustrated with the negotiations with Carlos Correa. Um, you know, there's a lot to this deal. We know that the ongoing negotiations, you know, that the Mets... You know, with the holidays, they eased off. They, it seemed like with, with the report, they were very frustrated. But, you know, with the medicals and all that, what's going on with Carlos Correa, it's very, very complicated deal. You know, Carlos Correa is not trying to let up anything. He's not trying to give up anything here. He's trying to, you know, just have his amazing deal, that 12-year, $315 million, Because, you know, that's a lot of money. And, of course, Carlos Correa wants that security, wants that financial security. And it just makes complete sense. You know, he's, he's a great player. He's an all-star shortstop. You know, he had a really good year last year. You know, all this, you know, all these concerns... With this big injury that happened in 2014, you know, uh, that um, when he, you know, had a season ending leg injury, it's just tough to, to realize because it's tough to deal with this situation because we don't know, you know, as Mets fans, we don't know what's exactly going on in those medicals. We know that, you know, all we know is that there was a injury in 2014. He's had a little back injury before. But he's played in eight full major league seasons. He is one of the best shortstops in all of major leagues. This guy's a great player. You know, he's pretty young still. You know, this guy can do so much for this team if he sign, if he gets on this team, if he, you know, tries to sign with New York, uh, the New York Mets. Now, a lot of people thought that, you know, when he posted, uh, you know, his daughter in an I Love Mets t-shirt that, oh, the Mets are good. They're, you know, they, they are going to get this deal done. And it's just going to happen. We just have to wait, you know. But, man, this is a very complicated issue. It seems like the Twins are now back in, you know, um, in, in it for uh, Carlos Correa. And the Twins, they have been very, they've been trying to get Carlos Correa back all offseason, you know. But, you know, the thing about the Mets is Steve Cohen has money. The Mets have money. So, Steve Cohen... If he wants to get a guy, he's going to get a guy. If money is the problem, he's going to make it a solution. He, he's definitely going to get his guy. But there's a lot going on. The Mets are becoming frustrated, and they're thinking about backing out of the deal. And listen, at the end of the day, the Mets will be a better team with Carlos Correa. At the end of the day, they will. But, you know, without Carlos Correa, you know, they still have Brett Beatty. They still have Eduardo Escobar. They still got, you know, they still got a good offense, you know, but nothing, it all depends on, you know, those new guys, uh, Francisco Alvarez, Brett Beatty, what they do in the 2023 season for the New York Mets. That's really what depends on the situation. So guys, let me know what you guys think about the Mets in this situation. Do you guys want Correa to sign? Do you guys feel like Correa has to sign with the New York Mets? Do you think that signing of Carlos Correa gets the Mets, you know, to the next level? I personally think with a Carlos Correa on this team, this team would just be way better than, you know, last year. I, offensively, because I know the type of player that Carlos Correa is. I know what he brings to the table. He brings power. He brings defense. He brings speed. Carlos Correa is a great player. OK, all this, all these uh, concerns uh, with this big injury. Look, I get it. It's a long term contract. I understand. I completely get it. it's a long term contract. You have to. It, first of all, when you think about a long term contract, 12 year contract, a lot goes into it, guys. It's not just, a you know, five years, six year contract. This is a 12 year contract. This is a lot of years. So you really got to really think about the situation with the New York Mets. Is this right for the New York Mets? Is this wrong for the New York Mets? We don't know. We honestly don't know. But listen, at the end of the day, it's up to the New York Mets whether they're going to sign him or not, whether Correa is going to sign with them, whether they're going to negotiate a deal, or whether Carlos Correa is just going to go to the Twins. I honestly don't know. But I think that Carlos Correa is an amazing player. And it would be, it would be amazing to have Carlos Correa on the New York Mets. This is a very complicated thing. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll let you guys know what's going on. I love you guys so much. This has been All Things Mets Media, where you get your latest Mets media, everything you need to know about the Mets. 
You guys are awesome. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's get to 600 subscribers. Baby, let's go Mets. Stay blessed.